Uh, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Trial James. And um, if it's real loud in the background, I do apologize for that. It's just uh, my, you know, nieces and, you know, nephews. They're, they're in the other room playing around and stuff. But um, uh, today, on this lovely afternoon, I want to talk to you all, you know, on the topic you weren't made to fit in. And so uh, a little bit about my story, you know, uh, growing up, I've always felt as though I could never fit in. Even when I was in school as, as a young child, I've always felt like I was an outcast. And even when it came to my brothers and sisters, you know, um, with me being the sixth born child out of 11 children, you know, I've always felt as though I could never fit in with them. And so later on uh, down the road, God began to show me why I didn't fit in. And, and also, you know, with me, preaching and teaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know, I'm, I'm the only one out of 11 children that are preaching the gospel. Now, um, now I'm, I'm not trying to bash them or anything like that, but it's, it's, it's straight facts. I'm the only one that's preaching and teaching the gospel. And so, uh, with that being said, I've never really fit in, even when it came to growing up in his life and getting older. You know, I, I tried the partying, the drinking, the clubbing. I tried all of that. But it's like when I did it, I had this strong, un uncomfortable feeling in my spirit and and so I knew that you know whatever it, it, it is that I was doing I knew that it wasn't right furthermore um, God was convicting me he was letting me know that that is uh, of the partying the drinking the smoking those things it, it wasn't for me and oftentimes we as a people, you know, we try to fit in with the crowd when God has called us out from amongst them. And so uh, I remember, just to give you a brief story, I, I, I remember when I was in the club, I, I, I was uh, with my friend, my old friend at, at, at this time. And man, her was inside the club just dancing, just having a great time, right? And so the music was going, everybody was hype. And then I remember when I was dancing up on her. And, uh, and I remember whenever this angel came to me from God. And, and, and as I was, you know, dancing inside the club, he he said to me you you don't belong here and so when when he told me that i heard him but i was still dancing and so that's when um after the club i felt bad about it because see the whole entire time this angel what was telling me something that god had been had told me and so you know uh I remember when I even uh, tried the smoking, I smoked three times and quit. Uh, you know, and then and then I never picked it back up again. Um, I, I, you know, I, I tried cussing a lot and stuff. I tried to be like this world. And, and so, you know, God wasn't mad at me, but 
he didn't, of course, approve of my sin. And but the whole entire time, I knew in my heart that I I wasn't made to to fit in. Why? Because God called me out of darkness. Um. And and it's the same way with with all all of you. You know, you were called out of darkness and into the light. That's why Jesus, he called us the salt and light of this world. We, we, we are not to remain in darkness. And, um, and don't get me wrong, uh, the stuff I told y'all about me clubbing and stuff, that was years ago before I ever got up on YouTube. Um... I want to read to y'all 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So... You, you were called into God's marvelous light. When you gave your life to Jesus Christ, the, the very minute that you did that, you were called out from darkness. You were no longer into the hands of the enemy, which is Satan. When, when you gave your life to God, you stepped into his glorious light. And so, yes, life is going to seem difficult and everything because we, we we are not of this world. Like, all, although we are in this world because we live here, right? We are not of this world. Meaning, you know, we don't do what the world do. Um... You know, this world, it loves nothing but sex, drugs, and money, and power. And so, with us being the children of God, you know, uh, uh, those things that the world love, it shouldn't be something that we love. We, 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 we are called to, to be a God's chosen generation, His chosen people. To lead and feed his sheep, we we are also called to live for, for him. Our bodies are a living sacrifice. We are a reasonable service unto God, and so that's why you know with us being saved and 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 baptized and everything, or uh, with us being God's children, you know. Uh, where we are not of darkness anymore. Now, sometimes, you know, with us backsliding, a, tr a truth be told, it's like we're, step we're stepping back into darkness. But see, it's important that we turn away from our sins, that we keep our focus on God. And also, I want to read uh, to you uh, from, from from Colossians chapter 1 verse 12 through 13 says giving thanks unto the father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the of, of the inheritance of the saints in light who have delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son so therefore when we became uh, children of God, we were translated. Uh, we we became transformed. We became that light of 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 this world. We became the salt of this world because of Jesus Christ. We too are 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 called light. Because, of course, Jesus, he, he is light. He is life as well. So I just want to let y'all know that, you know, 
if God has called you out of darkness, but don't run back to it. There's a reason why you you cannot fit into that crowd. And in, into that crowd, the bad girls club, the bad boys club of doing things of what they do. But there's a reason why you don't uh, fit in because you weren't made to fit in. So if, if anything, I just want to let y'all know that, you know, if you know that God has called you. If you know if you know that you heard God's voice, don't turn a deaf ear unto him because the, uh, because see this is a thing God will not keep calling you now um and, and when it comes to uh, his callings over your life uh, let's say as if God called you to be a you know evangelist. God called you to be a pastor, you know, uh, you know, in any other type of spiritual leader, right? If God called you to be that for him, you know, um, is what is what he called you. Um, and now remember for for the gifts and callings are 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 without a repentance from God, right? So, so, uh, so therefore, you know, if God called you, he, he called you and whatever gift he's giving you, it can be your, uh, uh, your gift could be speaking in tongues. It could be prophecy. It doesn't mean that God is going to take it back. No, because gifts and callings are, are, are without the, uh, the repentance uh, of God. Like, like if God gave you that, he gave it to you. But see, if you choose to not walk into your calling, if you choose to uh, to use your gifts and callings for your own purpose, other than the purpose that God intended for it to be, then therefore God is not getting the glory out of that. Pretty much you're you're getting your own self glory. And and as I mentioned, a uh, God will a uh, God will call you, but He won't keep calling you. So if you are running from God intentionally, um, I I just want to let you know to stop running. If you know that God has called you, answer His call. Uh, don't keep running back into this world because you feel like you're missing out on something. When you got saved, you know, it wasn't for nothing. So therefore, it's no need for you to run back into this world because you feel as though that just because you're saved, that you can just, you know, lukewarm it. Don't do any of that. If God called you, he called you. So answer his call. That's why I say that you weren't made to fit in because you weren't. When God created you, he, he created you with a purpose, a purpose designed within you that God, that God created. So, uh, so therefore, you know, you, you are chosen. So if God has called you, answer his call. There is no need to run back into this world. There's no need. You are now or have been you, you, like the minute that you gave your life to God, you step into light and you step away from darkness. So remember that your life is not your own. Your life has been bought with a price because when Jesus died on the cross for you, he did it because he loves you. So therefore, live for God, answer his call and be all that he intended for you to be. I love you all and you all take care. Take care. Bye.